has been asking me about this C part that has been going around that's really popular and personally me I've never been good at partings however I found a wig that comes naturally with the C part so let's get right into it so this is what the cap construction looks like. It does come with a 13 by six cap and also combs and adjustable straps so that you can wear this wig with or without glue. I absolutely love the parting. Now I did go back and curl the hair um, differently than what it came because we all know the curls can kind of get dropped while in the box. But look at that parting. Why have I never really paid attention to how beautiful the C part is? Like that is absolutely gorgeous. This wig will be linked below in the description box, but as you can see, the hairline is absolutely gorgeous. The hair color is a beautiful ombre. It's like black at the top and brown at the bottom. And it is a bob style. I believe this is in a 16, yeah, about a 16 inch. But it does have that natural wavy texture. Um, like I said, I did go back and recurl the hair just because I wanted the curls to look a little bit different, but it comes with this C part. Um, so if you want to have that parting already set, it comes with it. However, you still can part the hair anywhere you want to on the lace. So you still get that parting all around the lace area. So you don't need to worry about um, just being stuck with one parting if you want to change it up. But for anyone who definitely wanted that C part and you don't know how to do it, the way it comes like that and you can kind of, you can preserve that um, parting just by, you know, adding a clip right here or something when you wash it is a 1B with a brown um, ombre. So you do have the option to get this wig in a natural black color if you like it. Beautiful bob cut. So if you are looking for something that's comfortable and great for summer, this wig is definitely that. So this is what the hairline looks like. It's pre-plucked. And also the lace, as you can see, is very delicate, soft, and it's very comfortable for this wig. And it definitely blends very well, but you can also go back and tint it if you feel like it needs to be a little bit darker. It's no problem to do that. Um, but today we are gonna glue this wig down. I wanna share with you all a product that I just picked up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this extra lace um, before we glue it down. And all the products I use, including a link for this wig, will be in the description box below. So make sure to check there. So that is just absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, you do not need to glue this wig down if you don't want to, because the hairline and everything just blends so effortlessly. So today I'm gonna to be trying out the Even Wonder Lace Bond Lace Melt Spray. And this one is the Silk Protein. I have so many of these, but I know they have several different types of their spray. Um, I've never tried this one. I don't know what the hold is gonna be like for this one yet, but I do know that out of all of them, my favorite is the Black Can. Um, but yeah, this one I guess is supposed to be a little bit more delicate. Now, if you go to glue your wig and you notice that this part keeps doing this folding, that means you need to put a slit right above the ear area so it won't do that and the lace will lay flat. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna get lifting, especially at the ear tab area. All right, so I now have a position exactly where I want it to go. I'm gonna shake this and I'm spraying. You can either spray over the lace or under the lace. And if you feel like you're gonna, you are gonna get it too much into the hair, definitely go under the lace. Someone had asked me how is the hold spraying it over top of the lace? And it's definitely the same for me, just depending on what the can is. And remember, everybody's hold is gonna be different. It has really nothing to do with how you apply it. It's more about how much you sweat and what your needs are. Right, so once you get the adhesive to where it's tacky, you now want to tie it down for 15 minutes with the edge band. And you can just let that sit and once it's settled and dry, it definitely will um, be nice and flat. 
But with the even sprays, I want you guys to understand that this is a temporary hold. This is not one of those holds that you do for a high pony's hell. I mean, you can if you want to, but if you're, if you're sweating and your wig is in a high ponytail, you can possibly have your wig fall off your head. So definitely go with a stronger hold. I do have a waterproof glue that I absolutely love and leaked in the description box. Um, and I had did a water test on it, so you guys can check out that video also. But for these types of sprays, they are for touch-ups or they are for temporary holds. this looks so good um, I would recommend to kind of just take a comb through the hairline a little bit if if that adhesive spray kind of sticks to the hair and just lightly just brush it upwards I do see a little bit of residue uh, from this spray not too much though but the hole definitely feels a bit comfortable it doesn't feel like it's tight but it definitely feels secure all right, so this is the finished result. You guys can let me know. What do you think about today's style? Do you like the C part? Do you prefer it? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think this wig is giving everything it needs to give. Again, it will be linked below in the description box if you guys want it. Um, it's super easy to work with. The hairline is great. Yeah, I like this wig a lot. I'll put a discount code down there. You guys check below and I will see you back in my next video.